Stockpile Hobbies. Welcome back to Stockpile Hobbies, everyone. Today, we are either going to have a nice looking Camaro or a ruined Camaro. But what I have here is gold metallic automotive pinstriping here. And you see, there are many different widths to choose from. And I also have this here, which I had never seen before. My cousin Mike showed me this. This is a pinstripe cutter. As you see, you uh, load the pinstripe into the tool, and then you're able to pull it through and cut it at the same time. Uh, apparently, this is like a $200 tool. I did not know that, but uh, very impressive. Uh, so, what are my fears? My fear is, as I go to line this up and, you know, touch it to the paint, which is now fully cured after a week or so of, you know, just sitting here on the bench, is that if I, you know, muck it up in any way and I, I try to peel it off to realign it, it's going to pull any of the paint off. So, with any luck, that won't happen. So, first thing to do is to get some gold pinstripe here for the car. So, I'm going to use the widest uh, stripe that we have for the racing stripe. Uh, on the car, I don't know if it's visible here, but there are the two uh, indentations in the hood, but it's also this outline here on the hood that goes down. Um, it does look like it does V out a little bit, so it's a little bit wider in the back and more narrow in the front. But I'm going to kind of use that as a guide in the front at least to run it straight and then use the T-top uh, line as well. And then I'm just going to have to kind of guess at the back. But it looks like there's a little indentation here in the back that I might be able to use as my alignment point. Uh, I hope to run it down the back of the car too and then cut out the headlights with or the taillights with a Zecto knife. And the front of the car, it's going to go down the bumpers as well. We'll see how well all this goes. All right, so now I'm going to make the tool the same width as the pinstripe, which is like right about there. Uh, and then I have to line up the razor here with the white line of the fat one that I want to cut. And this should hopefully give me a straight line through it. So if I engage the blade, and now I'm going to pull myself a strip of pinstriping. I think that's long enough for the car. Uh, so the, it starts right here. I'm going to go a little bit further. All right. And hopefully nothing moves on me. Let's take this out. And trim off our part. And there is our racing stripe. There's one. You know, this metallic gold, it's a pretty good match, too, for uh, the gold I have on the cars. I'm pretty, I'm really impressed. That's, that's, that's going to look great if I can do this right and not ruin the paint job as I try to adhere this and pull it off. All right, so I'm going to peel the backing off of this and attempt to adhere to it. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to do this on camera because i got to bring the car over to me. Well, I guess I can. Let's bring the camera over. And you can watch me in real time <laughs> mess this up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the back portion of the paper so it won't re-stick when I get this started. And now, with any luck, I won't mess this up. Now, what are the odds of me running that straight down the whole car? Uh, I'd say slim the nun. Is it going to delaminate? No, the paint's it's sticking. Good, okay. So I do have opportunity here to fix this if it goes bad. And at the moment, it does look a little crooked. Right. 
Still looks a little crooked to me. I think that looks pretty straight. Hopefully I'm on camera, sorry. All right. I'll have to peel it off the tail light part. Get it in all the creases. go there we go and now for the front so I think it looks pretty good um, it is covering up the headlight just a little bit in the front um, which means the pinstripe just a little too fat compared to how it look on a actual Camaro but I'm okay with that uh, if it covers up a little bit it does it looks pretty straight going down the bumper here it kind of curved a little but um, we're gonna try the other side now it looks like there's something underneath the pinstripe there, and if it sticks, it might show as a bump. I don't know, but I can pull it off, I think, if it's going to be a problem. All right, so now, once again, let's hope we get a good spacing. Kind of like that. Probably do need more spacing, but uh, it's, that's what I got. Yeah, you see, it did do that. It did leave the bump there from it. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut a new piece. We have our fresh piece with no uh, contamination underneath the pinstripe, and I am once again gonna try and line this up. Oh, they're so close together. I was thinking maybe using a thinner pinstripe, but even if it's thinner, it'd be thinner on the outside for the hood where the lights are. It wouldn't be thinner in the middle because I want to cover up the indentations on the hood. I'm using that as my straight, my straight line. But coming down to the back. Oh, it's really it's really close get it in the groove go. have to talk to the guy who came up with this idea <laughs> wow um, I think it looks okay so I have seen these two ways. They stop at the hood line in here, or they continue all the way down the car. And it looks a lot cooler when it goes all the way down the car, but I might throw in the towel here and cut it at the hood line. This way the headlights would show and it would look even from there. Because it's, it's starting, the front of the car is doing a V coming out, and the, the stripes aren't stretching. You know, I'm, I'm not heating the the material up and trying to stretch it all. I'm just trying to line it up straight and you see how it's it's not quite doing it right but up here at the hood line it looks straight so I might take a razor here and uh, cut that there and then pull these off the front so it just goes down the hood the roof and the back of the trunk um, yeah I got to do on the back bumper though because the back bumper is straight it doesn't come to a V that's the problem yeah my OCD is getting the better of me um, I'm going to cut it at the hood line. It's just, it's not going to work right. It doesn't seem to want to stick either. It's so, there's so many hills and valleys here. And then when I fold it down, it's, it seems to come unstuck. And I don't think it, I don't think it's going to last. Is if, you know, we use the car as it bangs around the track and flies off and bumps. I'm afraid it's going to pop off. Oh, it's so hard to tell. Even right now, it's, it's not really sticking. No. All right, I'm going to get my knife and cut it. Actually, first, I'm going to peel it. While I got the extra material on here, 
I'll see if I can fiddle with it and get the, the clear part off and then cut it. That was really hard to get that started. I actually ruined the corner of it, so I'm, I'm glad I decided that I'm going to cut the pinstripe because I'd be raging out right now because I'd have to redo it all because it kind of ruined the, 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 the stripe here, trying to get the, the clear part off to separate. There we go. And now the trick is to make sure the gold stays on as we pull off the, the clear part here. Beautiful. So it did pull up the back a little bit. I do have to cut the back here to cut the lights out. Let's stick that back down, hopefully. There. And right there. So I want to stick it to the bumper and to the top of the spoiler, but I don't want to stick the middle. So I'm going to have to come in with a knife and try and pluck it out if I cut it. So now I have it peeled off. I'm going to cut the windows. And then just wrap it around underneath. Front and back there. Like so. There we go. That's looking cool now, huh? Once you cut those windows out, it starts to come to, come to life a little bit more. glass in. We'll see how this forms. This, this is so nerve-wracking trying to do this, especially on camera. <laughs> I'm going to try and run a line here across the front of the car. Hopefully not uh, just destroy everything I just did. Any luck that actually cut through and run it again all right moment of truth I'm gonna try and hold it down as I peel this off oh nice Looks like maybe a little bit of black came off, but I can touch it up with the brush. I think some of the pink came off right there. I don't think that's pinstripe stuck to it. I don't know. So, I don't know if a little speck of black paint just came off and it's revealing gold underneath. Or if that's part of the pinstripe. I didn't see anything on the, the pinstripe over here. Alright, we'll come back to that. So now I'm going to do the same thing for the back here. I'm going to cut out the taillights. I think like this will work best. Alright, I think I did it. And then we do the top part of the bumper. Alright, looks like the tops came off. I don't know about the bottoms. Let's see. Got one. Not bad looking. Nice. Woo! Oh, ho, 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 ho. that looks good. Yeah, so that's definitely paint that came off. I'm gonna have to hit that with a brush. Um, you know, I might even, I'm just gonna remask it. I'm gonna mask it and shoot it with black spray paint. Try and even it out. All right, fingers crossed. Very wet. I can barely see it now. Ho, 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 ho. Saved it. All right, let that dry. Too cool. I'll let this dry overnight now. It's like 12.30 a.m. I am going to hit it with some clear again. I'm going to remask it here. I'm going to let it dry for about 20 minutes. Remask it. 
and then hit it with the clear real quick, pull it off, and then let it dry. So let's show the car off before we started, how it looked. It's pretty horrible. And now, here it is, the finished product. Looks very nice. Enzo, this is the newest car in the Stockpile Hobbies race team. It is a Camaro, Ooh. black and gold, with automotive pinstriping. Nice. Look pretty cool. Yeah. Let's put it on the shelf next to the other ones, take a look at them. There we go, Enzo. We got a four car race team. We got a Camaro, we got a Porsche, we got an Indy car, and we got a dragster. Pretty cool. That's awesome. Wanna do a race with me? Yeah. Alright, let's do one. Alright, Enzo. We're gonna customize the Camaro some more. I noticed the rims that I had on it has some gold in them. They're not really chrome. Yeah. They look a little weird. And I saw it on the flash of the camera. So we're gonna take the chrome wheels off of the Porsche and we're gonna put it onto the Camaro. But our cool Lamborghini here, what did it have on the tires? Letters. Yeah, it says 440X2. Yeah. That's the type of chassis. All right, so look, we're gonna swap tires. You are? Yeah. There you go, push it on with your thumb. It's hard. It is. So it's gonna look kinda cool here. It's gonna look like a drag car. Oh, look at that, Enzo. Oh, that looks cool. How's that look? Awesome. Alright Enzo, I readjusted the sensor so we can play with the overhead light off. You can see the LEDs a little better, huh? One race, two laps buddy, you're in the Ferrari F40. Good choice. I am in the new Stockpile Hobbies Camaro. I'm ready when you are. Let's go. Oh, I think we both had good reactions there. So quick. Wipe out. No, wow. <laughs> I guess you do like that car, huh? We swapped uh, the F40 body onto his favorite uh, chassis he likes to drive. Pull your trigger. Okay, ready, set, go. <laughs> go. Wow, Enzo, you're fast. Oh, uh, that is a really good time, actually, in this track. 37.79 seconds. I was 39.35. What was your reaction? I had a .251. Enzo had a .479. Very good, buddy. Well, that was great driving, Enzo. Yeah. We'll have to figure out what to do for trophies. Hmm. <laughs> so, hope you like this video, everyone. Please give a thumbs up if you did. Please subscribe to the channel, right Enzo? Yeah. Awesome. Bye -bye. Keep having fun everyone. Bye bye. bye.